I'm guessing you guys already know what the NetGuard app is, but for those of you who do not know, you can use the NetGuard app to stop certain apps on your phone from having an internet connection. So I have a video, a detailed video about this. I will leave it in the description so you guys can watch it to learn how the NetGuard app works. But um, that's not the reason for today's video. Today we're going to be talking about this app called Firewall. So Firewall, in a nutshell, does exactly what NetGuard does. It stops apps from having an internet access. But I like the app for two reasons. The first thing is it's ad free. So you're not going to be getting ads with this app. And the second reason is that it has a pin protection. So if you decide to set up the pin protection, no one can open the app and activate apps that you have turned off. All right, so in the description, you're going to get a link to the Play Store where you can find the app. So when you get here, just click on install. And then after it's done installing, tap on open. Now, after you open the app for the first time, this is what you're going to see. And I'll suggest you just swipe through and read all the stuff that you see. And when you get to this part, just tap on continue, tap finish up, and then agree to the terms and conditions and tap accept. All right, so this is what the app looks like. And uh, what you want to do is just tap on here, apps. And you're going to see a list of all your apps. These are apps that I've downloaded. But um, if I tap on this and then I tap on system, if I close this, you're going to see more apps being displayed like this one was not here before this was not here before so these are apps that came pre-installed on your device you didn't install these apps they came on their own over on the right you get to see the mobile data icon and the wi-fi icon enabling or disabling any of them will stop the app from using that network so i'm just going to use dr go as an example i think that's what i used over a year ago anyway so this is dr go as you can see, it has both Wi-Fi and uh, mobile data enabled. So if I open the DuckDuckGo app, I'll be able to access any website I want. So for example, I'll just go to my website. And as you can see, it has loaded everything up and I can click on any link. Yeah, we can see now that it works. So if I go back to firewall and then turn off mobile data because I am currently using mobile data, not Wi-Fi. See, my Wi-Fi is turned off. Had it been I had the Wi-Fi network connected, then I wouldn't have to disable this, but I'll disable this. So after disabling the mobile data, I'll tap on this back button here, and then I'm going to activate the app. So I can activate it by either tapping here or here. I think I'll just use this one. And uh, this pinning flame means it's now working. So if I go back to the app, and then I try to click on any link, like this one for example, you can see the browser slash search engine is trying to access the link, but firewall is stopping it from doing that. So as you can see, it works and yeah, there is no doubt about that. All right, we are back to the firewall app. I'm just going to deactivate this for a few seconds and then I'll tap on settings. Now there are two settings that I want you guys to work with. So the first one is general settings and then tap on battery optimization. This will make sure the app doesn't just randomly stop while working in the background because your phone wants to save battery. So you want to click on this button here and then tap on optimize and it's going to get you to this part of your phone. So just tap on this um, drop down menu and then tap all apps to display all the apps that you have and then search for firewall. All right, so this is firewall and it says optimizing battery use. So you want to deactivate this by selecting not optimized this way the app will work in the background without being um, terminated. So tap on done and then you can head back to the app and as you can see this has been activated. So remember when I talked about that pin protection? Well, it's right here. So you can click on it and then activate this and then impute the pin you want. So for this I'll just use 0000. So I had to do it twice just to confirm that I know the pin I want. And then now if I exit the app and try to access it again, you can see that it's asking for the pin code, which is a very good feature. So you don't have to use 0000, you can use anything you want. All right, so now that's how you use the app. Just go into the app and then select all the apps you want to deactivate. So one question that I've been asked multiple times is, can this app be used as an ad blocker? And um, the answer is yes and no. The yes part is that uh, if you have an app that doesn't need an internet connection to work, like a game or whatever it is, well, you can use this app to stop that app from having internet access and you can use the app without seeing ads. 
but there are apps that can't work without an internet connection. So if you use this app to block those apps from having an internet connection, then you're just wasting your time. Let's say YouTube now. If you use this app to block YouTube, you won't be able to watch any videos unless you have already downloaded them before. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just let me know in the comments. This is the second time I'm making this video because I forgot to hit the record button and I spoke to myself for like 10 minutes. Anyways, that's just by the way. So if you guys found the video helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Seriously, just ask me. And uh, if you haven't smashed that subscribe button because I feel like it's been long since I asked you guys to subscribe, then please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay safe and bye-bye.